In this video, we're going to work on some work in time problems. And there is a simple formula that you could use that can help you to get the answer quickly. And we're going to explore that today. So let's begin with this problem. And by the way, for each of these problems, I recommend that you pause the video and, you know, give it a shot. Try it out first to see if you can get the answer. So let's go ahead and begin. Number one, John can paint a room in six hours and Sally can do it in three hours. How long will it take John and Sally to paint the room working together? So how can we find the answer to this question? What do you think we need to do? What formula should we use? And there is a simple formula that can help you to get the answer. So we're going to say, here it is, 1 over TAB is equal to 1 over TA plus 1 over TB. In this case, let's adjust the letters A and B to the first letters for John and Sally. So we're going to use J for John, S for Sally. So TJS would represent the time it takes for John and Sally to complete the job. TJ is simply the time it takes to John to complete the task working alone. And TS is the time it takes Sally to get the job done by herself. So what we're going to do now is replace TJ with 6 because John could do it in 6 hours. And let's replace TS with 3. So at this point, if you don't want to write this whole variable, you can just replace with x because that's the missing variable that we're looking for. So let's just call it x. So how can we calculate the value of x at this point? What do we need to do? So at this point, it's basically algebra. You need to do some math here. Now, for those of you who prefer to get the answer uh, just with a, a calculator, I'm going to show you how you can do that as well. But for those of you who want to show your work, here's what you need to do. You need to multiply both sides, or basically every fraction in this equation, by something that will get rid of all of the denominators of each fraction. So what we need to do is find out the least common multiple of x, 6, and 3. And it's going to be 6x. So let's distribute 6x to everything inside the brackets. So let's multiply 1 over x by 6x. If we do that, the x variable will cancel, and so all we'll get is 6. Now, if we multiply these two together, the 6 will be cancel, giving us x. And then 6x times 1 over 3, or 6x divided by 3, that will give us 2x. So now we can add 1x plus 2x, which is 3x. At this point, we need to divide both sides by 3. And so x is 6 over 3, which is 2. So working together, it's going to take John and Sally 2 hours to paint this room together. Now, for those of you who want to get the answer quickly, here is the formula that you can use. The time it takes for A and B to get the job done working together is going to be 1 over TA plus 1 over TB, all in the brackets or parentheses, raised to the minus 1. So in this case, let's say A corresponds to John and B corresponds to Sally. It's simply 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3 raised to the minus 1. And you could type it into your uh, scientific device, and it will give you this answer, 2 hours. So that's another way in which you could do this problem. Now here is another one. Mark and Kelly can finish a job in 4 hours working together. If it takes Mark 6 hours to complete the job working alone, 
How long will it take Kelly to finish the job working by herself? So go ahead and try this problem. You could use the same formula. Now I'm going to adjust the subscripts of the formula. So T sub MK, that's the time it takes for Mark and Kelly to get the job done. And this is going to be equal to 1 over TM, that's for Mark, oh, plus 1 over uh, TK, and that's for Kelly. So Mark and Kelly can finish the job in four hours working together. So T sub MK is 4. And we know that it takes Mark six hours to complete the job working alone, so T sub M is 6. Our goal is to calculate how long it will take Kelly to finish a job working by herself. So we're looking for the value of TK. So let's call it X. So we're going to use the same process to find the value of X. So let's multiply both sides by the LCM or the least common multiple of 4, 6, and X. Now, if you don't want to find the least common multiple, any multiple will work. You can multiply 4, 6, and x, which is 24x, and it will help you to get the right answer. But the least common multiple is 12x. But let's see what happens if we use 24x. Because it's very easy just to multiply what you see here even though 24x is not the LCM. So 24x times 1 over 4, or 24x divided by 4, that's going to be 6x. And then 24x divided by 6 is 4x. And then 24x divided by x is simply 24. So now let's do some algebra. Let's solve for the for x. So let's begin by subtracting both sides by 4x. Let's get rid of this. So this will cancel. 6x minus 4x is 2x and that's equal to 24. To separate the 2 from the x, let's divide both sides by 2. And so 24 divided by 2 is 12. So it's going to take Kelly 12 hours to finish the job working by herself. And so that's all you need to do for this problem. Now let's move on to number three. Alex, Kristen, and Ronald can complete a task in six hours, nine hours, and 18 hours working alone respectively. How long will it take for them to complete the task working together. So this time, we have three individuals as opposed to two. So what do you think we need to do? All we need to do is expand the formula. So let's say we have three letters, A, B, and C. It's going to be 1 over T, A plus 1 over TB, plus 1 over TC. Now, our goal is to find how long it's going to take for them to finish a job working together. So we're looking for this variable. So let's replace it with an X. Now, the time it takes Alex to get the job done, respectively, is going to be the first number because Alex was the first person listed. So that's going to be six hours. Now, let's say that B represents uh, Kristen. Kristen can finish it in nine hours. And C, we're going to associate that with Ronald. He can do it in 18 hours. So the math is going to be the same. The only difference is it's simply more work. Now, we don't want to multiply 6, 9, and 18, and x at the same time, because that's going to give us a very big number. So what is the least common multiple between 6, 9, and 18? It turns out that it's just 18. Because 
18 is divisible by 6, and 18 is divisible by 9. Now, to incorporate x as well, the LCM for all four of them will be 18x. 18x is divisible by 6, 9, 18, and, it, and x as well. So let's begin by dividing 18x by x. And so that's going to give us 18. And then if we take that divided by 6, that will give us 3x. And then 18x divided by 9 is 2x. And then 18x divided by 18, that's simply x. So 3x plus 2x plus 1x, that's going to be 6x. Now, let's divide both sides by 6. 18 divided by 6 is 3. So it's going to take them 3 hours for all 3 of them to complete the task working together. And that's basically it for this problem. That's all you need to do to get the answer. As you can see, it's not that bad. Now, let's move on to the next one. Luke, Megan, and Stephanie can complete a job in four hours working together. Stephanie can finish the job in eight hours working by herself. And Megan can do it in 24 hours on her own. How long will it take Luke to finish the job working by himself? So once again, we have three individuals. And we're going to use this formula again. So working together, all three of them can finish the job in four hours. Now, Stephanie can do the job in eight hours. So let's say A corresponds to Stephanie. And Megan can do it in 24 hours. So we're going to make B correspond to Megan. And let's represent C with Luke. How long will it take Luke to finish the job working by himself? So let's replace TC with X. So let's find the LCM of 4, 8, 24, and X. So what do you think it's going to be? Notice that 4 and 8, they can go into 24. So it turns out that the least common multiple is going to be 24X. So if we divide 24x by 4, that's going to give us 6x. And then 24x divided by 8 is 3x. And then 24x divided by 24 is simply x. And finally, 24 divided by x is 24. So let's go ahead and combine like terms. 3x plus 1x is 4x. So we have 6x is equal to 4x plus 24. And then let's subtract both sides by 4x. This equation looks very familiar. 6x minus 4x is 2x. And then we're going to divide by 2. And so x is 12. Which means that it's going to take Luke 12 hours to finish the job working by himself. And that's the answer for this problem. Now the next problem is going to be a little more difficult. Number five, Aya and Greg can build a gas electric hybrid bike in four hours working together. If Greg can do the job four times faster than Aya working alone, how many hours will it take Greg and Aya to build a bike individually working alone. So go ahead and try that problem. So we're going to have T sub A and G instead of B. So T sub A is going to be the time it takes for Aya to get the job done. And T sub G is for Greg. 
Now, how can we incorporate this sentence into the problem? Greg can do the job four times faster than Aya working alone. So what does that mean in terms of hours? Well, let's slow it down a little bit and think about it. So let's write down Aya and Greg. So let's say if Aya can finish the job in eight hours. Now, if Greg could do the job four times faster than Aya, working alone, how many hours will it take Greg to get the job done if Aya can do it in eight hours? Should we multiply by four and say it's going to take him 32 hours? Or should we divide by four and say it's going to take him two hours? Now, based on the sentence, or the problem rather, Greg can do the job faster than Aya. If it takes him 32 hours to get it done, he's not working faster, he's working slower. So therefore, it will take Greg two hours to get it done if Aya can do it in eight hours. So what does that mean? So let's say if it takes Greg X hours to get the job done. That means it's going to take Aya four times X because it's going to take her four times longer since she's working four times slower than Greg. So let's apply this information. So our goal is to find out how many hours it will take Greg and Aya to build a bike individually working alone. So we're going to say that it takes Greg X hours to get the job done. Aya, who's working four times slower, it's going to take her four times longer or four X to get it done. Now working together, they can build it in four hours. So that's TAG. Let's replace that with four. TA is going to be four X. TG is going to be X. So now we have the equation. Let's solve for the value of x. So let's multiply both sides by 4x. 4x divided by 4 is x, and 4x divided by itself, that's going to be 1. And 4x divided by x is 4. And so x is simply 1 plus 4, or 5. So now that we have the value of x, all we need to do is plug it in to those two expressions. Now the time that it takes Greg to get it done is equal to x, so that's going to be 5 hours. And the time that it takes Aya to get the job done is 4 times x, or 4 times 5, which is 20 hours. And of course you can confirm that this is correct by using this formula. It's going to be 1 over 5 plus 1 over 20 raised to the minus 1. So go ahead and type that into your scientific calculator. And that will give you 4. So these are the answers to the problem. That's the time it's going to take Aya and Greg to build it working individually alone. Number six, Lisa, Karen, and Tom can build a tree house in two hours working together. If Lisa can do it three times faster than Tom, and Karen can finish the job twice as fast as Tom, how long will it take Karen to complete the task on her own? So let's write Lisa, Karen, and Tom. So Lisa can do it three times faster than Tom. So thinking about it in the reverse direction, Tom is three times slower than Lisa, which means Tom is going to take three times longer than Lisa. So if Lisa takes x hours, 
Tom is going to take three times X hours to get the job done. Now what about Karen? Karen can do the job twice as fast as Tom, which means Tom is twice as slow as Karen. So if Karen could do it in X hours, Tom can do it in two X hours, or twice as long. But now we can't have two different values for Tom, nor can we have the same value for Lisa and Karen. So how do we make this work? What do we need to do here? Hmm. Take a minute and try to figure it out. Pause the video and see if you can get the answer. Now, somehow, we need to make these two values the same. Now, let's analyze this situation. If we divide both of those values by 3, 3x divided by 3 will be x, and x divided by 3 will be x over 3. Now, let's do the same for Tom and Karen, but we're going to divide it by 2. 2x divided by 2 will give us x, and x divided by 2 is just x over 2. And so now, these two values are the same. So let's put this all together. If it takes Tom x hours to get the job done, then Lisa, she could do it three times faster than Tom. So the time that it takes her will be whatever Tom's time divided by 3. And Karen works twice as fast as Tom, so however long it takes Tom, it's going to take Karen half the time to get it done, because she works twice as fast as Tom. And so seeing it from this perspective makes it a lot easier. And now we can get the answer. So let's say that T sub L, K, T again, that's the time it takes for Lisa, Karen, and Tom to get it done. And that's going to equal 1 over T, L plus 1 over T, K plus 1 over double T. Now working together, they can build the treehouse in two hours. So let's replace that value with 2. Now the time that it's going to take Lisa to get it done in terms of x is going to be x over 3. And for Karen, it's x over 2. And for Tom, it's simply x. Now let's simplify these fractions. What is 1 divided by x over 3? If we multiply the top and the bottom by 3, x over 3 times 3, those 3's will cancel, and so that becomes 3 over x. So you basically flip the fraction. So 1 over x over 2, just flip x over 2, and it's going to become 2 over x. And so we have 3 plus 2 plus 1, which is 6. So we have 1 over 2 is equal to 6 over x. Now at this point, what we need to do is cross multiply. So 2 times 6 is 12, and 1 times x is simply x. So now we can finish the problem. So remember, the time that it takes Tom to build it, we define it as x, which is 12 hours. The time that it takes Lisa to get it done, uh, she works three times faster than Tom, so it's x divided by 3. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. And the one we're looking for is the time that it takes Karen to complete the task. Now, she's working twice as fast as Tom, so she can get it done in half the time. So 12 divided by 2 is 6 hours. And therefore, this is the answer that we are looking for. 
six hours. So this is going to be the last question of this video. Ashley and Ricky can complete a job in 7.2 hours. Ricky and Andrew can do the same job in 12 hours. Ashley and Andrew can finish it in 9 hours. How long will it take Ashley, Ricky, and Andrew to complete the job working together? So see if you can do this problem. Take a minute and try it out. What do you think we need to do here? Well, we know we could use this equation. 1 over T sub A for Ashley, R for Ricky. Well, let's use A, B, and C. B for Ricky and C for Andrew. That's going to equal 1 over T, A plus 1 over T, B plus 1 over T, C. However, the only problem is we don't have the time it takes for each individual to complete the task working alone. We don't have that. We have the information for two individuals uh, working together, and we need to find how long it's going to take for all three individuals to get the job done. So we have the time for A and B. We also have the time for B and C and A and C. So how do we make this work? Well, we know that the time it takes for A and B to get it done is 1 over TA plus 1 over TB. And the time it takes for B and C, or let's say Ricky and Andrew to get it done, is 1 over TB plus 1 over TC. And the time it takes for Ashley and Andrew to get it done is going to be 1 over TA plus 1 over TC. So how do we combine all of these equations and make them work? So basically, how do we find the time it takes for A, B, and C working together using the time of A and B working together, B and C, and A and C? If we can write an equation that has these four variables in it, then we can get the answer. So let's start with this expression. 1 over t a b plus 1 over t b c plus 1 over t a c. Keep in mind, a is for Ashley, b is for Ricky, c is for Andrew. So let's replace that expression with 1 over t a plus 1 over t b. Now 1 over t b c, that's going to be 1 over t b plus 1 over t c. And 1 over t a c, as we wrote previously, it's 1 over t a plus 1 over t c. Now let's put an equal sign. So this expression here is equal to everything that we see below it. Now let's combine like terms. So 1 over TA plus another 1 over TA, we could say that's 2 over TA. Let me conserve space. And then we could do the same with 1 over TB. If we add that, I mean, excuse me, if we add those two, it's going to be 2 over TB. And the same is true for the last two variables. So that's going to be 2 over TC. If we factor out the 2, this is going to equal 2 times 1 over TA plus 1 over TB plus 1 over TC. Now, this here is equal to simply 1 over TABC. So that's the time that it takes for A, B, and C working together. So understand that this expression is equal to what we see here.
So we could say that 1 over t a b plus 1 over t b c plus 1 over t a c. All of that is going to equal 2 times 1 over t a b c. So that's the formula that we need for this problem. Now, TAB, that's the time it takes for Ashley and Ricky to complete the job, which is 7.2 hours. TBC, that's the time it takes for Ricky and Andrew to complete that same job, which is 12 hours. And TAC is for Ashley and Andrew, and they could do it in 9 hours. Now, we're looking for this, the time that it takes for all of them to get the job done. And so let's replace T, A, B, C with X. So our goal is simply to calculate X. Now, how can we do this since we have a decimal number? So how can we find the LCM of 7.2, 12, 9, and X? Well, let's focus on the point 0.2. 0.2 times what number will give us a whole number? It turns out that 0.2 times 5 is 1, just as 2 times 5 is 10. Now what is 7.2 times 5? 7 times 5 is 35. 0.2 times 5 is 1. If you add 35 and 1, you get 36. So 7.2 times 5 is 36. And it turns out that 9 and 12 they both go into 36. So 36 times x is the LCM that we need for this problem. So let's multiply everything by 36x. 36x divided by 7.2, that's going to be 5x. 36x divided by 12 is 3x. And 36x divided by 9 is 4x. Now, 36x divided by x, the x variables will cancel. And so what we're going to have left over is 2 times 36, which is 72. Now, let's add 3x plus 4x is 7x plus 5x. That's 12x, which is equal to 72. Now let's divide both sides by 12. 72 divided by 12 is 6. So it's going to take 6 hours for Ashley, Ricky, and Andrew working together to complete the job. That's it. So that's all I got for this video. For those of you who wish to subscribe to this channel, don't forget to click the notification bell so that you can receive updates on my new videos because I think some of you are not uh, getting my new videos that I'm posting. So if you are subscribed or if you're planning on subscribing, uh, make sure to click that notification bell when you get a chance. Now I recommend checking out my algebra playlist for those of you who want more word problems in algebra or if you need help in other topics like trig, pre-calculus, calculus, chemistry, physics. Feel free to visit my channel and you can find playlists on those topics. Thanks again for watching.